Well, most kids in our region are about three weeks into the school year. While we are on the better end of the pandemic, there are still some social effects that are lingering. And our Brittany Moncrief spoke with a Germantown therapist about helping kids navigate their social anxiety. More than a year into the return, and the effects of the pandemic are still prevalent. I saw a lot of school avoidant behaviors, a lot of anxiety. Emily Vanderpool runs Germantown Behavioral Solutions, helping children grow socially. Although many kids have already completed a year of in-person learning. I'm still hearing cases of it currently that, you know, people who took a break during the pandemic and maybe just didn't feel safe sending their kids back after that next year, so their kids are for the first time being reintegrated back into schools. Some showing social anxiety behaviors. A lot of times what you'll see is physical complaints. My tummy hurts, I've got a headache, I don't feel well. Older children might be a little bit more defiant with it. They might just refuse to go, refuse to get out of bed, being really slow moving in the mornings. It can even turn into arguments. But there are ways to make children more comfortable. And Vanderpool says it's better to start sooner rather than later. Validation is really important, especially when they're first coming into my office to know that like they're being listened to, they're being taken seriously. After validating, Vanderpool encourages explaining why avoidance is not the answer. That just perpetuates the anxiety. And the reality is we can't avoid going on in public. Then she develops individual plans, which can include teaching by instruction and social exercises with therapists and peers. And for teachers in the schools. If you're having a student with social anxiety, the worst thing you can do is call them out in front of the class or draw attention to them. Quietly pull them aside and remember, patience is key. Thankfully, I've seen a lot of great successes and that's so rewarding as a therapist to see them thrive and to regain their confidence and to develop friendships, which is so rewarding and so needed for them. And so there is a light at the other side of the tunnel. A light so bright, it shines through social challenges. In Germantown, I'm Brittany Moncrease.